Ever feel like you catch every single cold that goes around, especially in the winter? You're bundling up, washing your hands, but still you get sick. Well, what if I told you a major clue might not be in the air you're breathing, but in the sunlight you're missing? Let's talk about vitamin D. Most of us think of it as the bone vitamin, right? But that's only a tiny part of its job. In reality, vitamin D isn't just a vitamin. It's a pro-hormone. Your body literally makes it. When sunlight hits your skin, it kicks off a process. That molecule then travels to your liver and kidneys to get activated, turning into the powerful hormone that influences over a thousand different genes in your body. And a huge number of those genes are directly tied to your immune system. Think of vitamin D as the conductor of your immune orchestra. Your immune system has two main sections. First, there's the innate system, your frontline bouncers. They're the first to respond to any invading germ. Vitamin D acts like their drill sergeant, boosting the production of natural antibiotic molecules like one called catholicidin, which are like little Pac-Man creatures that go around gobbling up bacteria and viruses. This is your body's first line of defense supercharged. But what about the second section? That's your adaptive immune system, the highly intelligent special forces. These are the cells that create memory. So if you get sick with something, they remember it and can fight it off faster next time. Here's where it gets really interesting. A poorly regulated immune system can sometimes overreact and attack your own body, leading to autoimmune conditions. Vitamin D steps in as the peacekeeper. It helps balance the activity of your T cells and keeps inflammatory signals called cytokines from going haywire. It tells your immune system, hey, fight the real enemy, but don't burn the whole house down. This explains so much, doesn't it? Like why we tend to get more colds and flu in the winter. Less sun means lower vitamin D levels, leaving our immune defenses a little sluggish. Studies have consistently linked adequate vitamin D levels with better respiratory health and a lower risk of infections. So, how do you get enough of this sunshine hormone? Sunlight is the best source, of course. Just 15 to 20 minutes a few times a week can make a big difference for many. But you can also eat it. Think fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, egg yolks, and fortified foods like milk and cereal. If you live somewhere with long, dark winters or have darker skin, a supplement might be a good idea. Most adults need around 600 to 800 IU per day. But what really matters is your blood level. It's always best to talk to a doctor and get tested. But a word of caution. This isn't a more is better situation. Vitamin D is fat soluble, which means your body stores it and taking way too much can lead to toxicity. Balance is everything. So the next time you take a walk in the sun or cook up a delicious salmon dinner, remember what you're really doing. You're not just getting fresh air or a tasty meal. You're handing the baton to the conductor of your immune orchestra, helping it play a perfect protective symphony.